Hello and welcome to Author Academia. Today we'll be doing a spoiler-free review of The Cruel Prince, written by Holly Black. The Cruel Prince is an exemplary work of literature. I'll tell you right now, I absolutely love this book. It begins in a swift and brutal way, and these dark, enigmatic, and dare I say cruel themes persist throughout the novel. We are introduced to our protagonist, Jude, and her two sisters, Taryn and Vivian. As readers, we are left to watch on in horror as their parents are brutally murdered in front of them, and then the girls are swept away to a place called Fairyland. Simply reading the first couple pages, I think a lot of people will find themselves allured by Black's pensive description. A common expression in literature is, What an author writes is just as important as how they write it, and what makes The Cruel Prince stand apart from other young adult fantasy is certainly how it's written. Does Black Topper prologue? Well, dear viewer, I must say the first chapter in Cruel Prince is bold and speaks volumes for the narrative style, despite being a little longer than what you might expect. In all seriousness, I have to say that Cruel Prince starts off good and only gets better the farther you read. The first act does have interwoven moments that establish key characters, setting, and uh, character relationships. I found this serves to help flesh out the world, and it allows readers to get a sense of what magic is capable of in The Cruel Prince. Jude does start off as a weak and pitiful person, but during her character arc she develops into a frightening and conniving manipulator. Watching this transition occur through the story is worth the price of admission itself. On the topic of Jude, the vast majority of The Cruel Prince is written in first person, but Jude doesn't embody the typical snooty, sarcastic tone that many first person narratives are guilty of. Instead, Black prefers to portray Jude's maturity and thought process, which is a breath of fresh air. Other characters, especially the fairies, have these odd personalities, at times feeling more graceful than your average person, and at other moments more savage and brutal. I believe this was done deliberately to show the wild and manipulative nature of the fairies. It's kind of cool, and not something I noticed right away reading through the story. The Cruel Prince is very heavily plot-driven, but a large amount of the story is also character-driven. As a reader, you should expect a healthy dose of both. Jude does appear to have clear goals and a strong motivation, as the focus of the tale surrounds her as she traverses the fairy political scene. Oftentimes, Jude takes an active role in the plot. If she isn't driving it forward herself, she's at least participating in the action. As such, Jude often makes choices, many of which at the time may seem ethical and heroic even to the reader, but such choices have grave and unexpected consequences later on. In fact, you should steal yourself for some seriously shocking plot twists. There are many in The Cruel Prince, and all of them are executed wonderfully in a sick, twisted sort of way. Since plot is a major focus, those interested in lore and world building might be a little disappointed. As I mentioned before, these elements are woven into the story to keep the pacing on track, and there aren't too many deviations that explore too deep into the history of the fairy. The Crow Prince is more focused on the political and criminal exploits of the present. For what the narrative attempts to accomplish, the setting is pretty much perfectly integrated, and I think if Black had spent more time detailing the history, it would have actually slowed the pacing down and hurt the story. Probably the most striking thing about Cruel Prince is the prose. You've already heard me gush about it, but I'm entirely serious. For an entry into the young adult genre, the writing of this book is exceptional. Gone are many of the tired and overused conventions of young adult yore, replaced with a graceful and eloquent successor. Typically, young adult books are written simple to encourage younger and more hesitant readers, or to offer an easy and enjoyable experience to veterans. Cruel Prince deviates from the norm by displaying a more mature and poetic style to enthrall experienced readers, but also isn't so complex that I think those at a lower reading level will be left in the dark. Although, admittedly, some might have a tough time. I will say the ending to Cruel Prince is well done, and certainly unexpected, in a very tasteful way. For criticisms, I don't have too many that are very substantial. In the first act, maybe it's possible to get annoyed with Jude because she's frequently overpowered by the fairy, but I think that's the reason we have a story in the first place, so I don't know what to tell you. There are one or two little things that I'll have to discuss in the spoiler section, but honestly, I think Cruel Prince is fantastic. 
For rating, if you're looking for a dark and twisted fantasy tale to unravel, Cruel Prince should be on your shelf already. To be real with you, I'm not a fan of fairy type fantasies, I'm more of a dragon, dwarf, elf, orc sort of guy, but the Cruel Prince was good enough I could forego my bias and easily enjoy it. I seriously recommend picking this one up. That's all I have today everyone, check out my spoilers discussion for more, and with all that said, I hope you have a wonderful day.